hello fellow Tiger Space Bandit here with another episode of World of Tanks and today we are in the Conqueror on map Kaunas. This is a relatively new map in World of Tanks and uh, I just wanted to kind of make a quick video just to kind of quickly go over this map and what are the best positions on this map as far as uh, my playstyle is concerned. So just looking at this map we have quite an open field on the north side of the map which is B and C line. We also have kind of an open field on the east side we're talking eight and nine line you can try to go outside on the edge of the map using a line and zero line many players seem to do that nowadays because i guess they don't know the map that well yet and those positions are important as well because they provide crossfires if you can get yourself in those positions you can create crossfire into areas d5 which seems very prevalent for the north spawn and also F7 which becomes quite prevalent for the south spawn. Now I think the key areas and the most important areas of the map is the middle obviously so you know quadrant D4 all the way to G7 because once you win a flank you can actually progress through the middle and outflank the opposition once the flank is won as well as I think actually in this situation town is quite important because it has the most abstraction and once you make your way through the town, you can get yourself to the edges of town and at that point progress to the outskirts of the map. Now, the way I like to play it, if I'm usually in a very heavily armored vehicle, I go town and try to brawl it out. And if I have a quite mobile tank or a tank with a good gun, like I do have in this situation, which is the Conqueror, I like to play it out of the middle. The reason why is because if you play it out of the middle, you have uh, you can create crossfire like in this situation and the guys that went into a7 initially and whoever is on the north side of the map and if you have your tanks on the zero line you can provide crossfire into those guys in a6 for instance and then further on you could actually progress through d7 onto c6 and outflank the guys that are in the middle potentially or the guys that are sitting at one lane now zero line on the east side and a line on the north side i think they're quite insignificant to be honest you don't need many tanks in those areas you probably need one or two to create crossfire so that the opposition doesn't cross the field and try to outflank whoever is in the middle but other than that it's really insignificant now i had one game where i was drawn on a south spawn and i had none of our tanks go the zero line Actually, I was in my E75, and because the opposition realized that there is no one at the zero line, they try to wrap along that little hill at D6 and start encroaching into the open area, that road at D6. So I actually changed position at that point. It was at the start of the game, and I went up to zero line all the way up to A7, and there is a little bit of uh, protection. That, well, there is a couple of buildings there, and there's... Uh, kind of uneven terrain at A7 so you could probably put yourself either at you know A8, A9 or A7 and from there you could have crossfire into those guys that are actually encroaching over D6 or D7 right so that area is still important although it's not as important as I would say the middle and the town in the situation I mean I cannot stress enough the middle is the most important on that map so whoever wins the middle most likely will win the game. Although if you just have the middle and you don't have anything else on the map and you have no control over other areas of the map, there's definitely you won't be able to win because you'll get outflanked. So you need to control at least half of the map plus the middle and then you'll probably be able to win the game. So in this game, my Conqueror, as you can see, the opposition didn't even go to town. Mostly they tried to hang around the middle and they tried the north side. Now the north side because we had so much firepower on the zero line and myself and a couple other tanks in the middle we pretty much got them down in health quite significantly and since they didn't push down and they only had tanks in the middle they got outflanked and they actually had to push the middle and once they push the middle they run into us right at the edges of the middle area here at F6. Now, I don't know if that's an effective strategy yet. Now, I've only played this map maybe a handful of times. But I think controlling the middle is important and playing the middle is important as well as controlling one flank. But with time, I think I'm probably going to get a better understanding of how to play this map. 
As far as rotation is concerned, it's been coming up in rotation quite often, although I haven't gotten it that often. I've gotten it maybe 10 times max, but through those 10 times, I already have an idea how to play that map. Regardless, I figured that when I actually get myself in the middle with a tank that has a decent gun, I can have significant impact on the game by creating crossfire situations. Anyway, we're in the final stages of the game now. As you can see, we cleaned up pretty much every flank and we cleaned up the middle. And the guys that were actually sitting at the edge of town, like this T-30, didn't progress at all. I don't know whether they were just sitting there trying to snipe or um, because no one was going town. That's why they didn't go. Hard to say. Actually, I think uh, this T-30 had a couple stars on his barrel, so I'm surprised about that play by him. But we're trying to find a final kill over here. We're going to try to hit him on the move right there, but that shot doesn't come off. Hits the rock. And unfortunately, we don't get a damaging hit for that. And we're going to try to take him out of the game, but he unfortunately gets taken out. And we cleaned up just like that. Nice job. So we had ourselves a pretty reasonably decent game. And I've realized that every time I do this in uh, any of my tanks, well, again, something that has a relatively good gun that could shoot across the field, right? If I go in a heavy tank there, obviously it's not going to work. You're going to have to go up close and personal, brawl it out. But anytime I'm in a medium tank or I'm in a heavy that has a good gun, if I go to this position, I usually get really good game. So as you can see, 5k damage, 1495 basic speed, nothing spectacular, just a very good game in a conquer. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this replay. That's it for now. Stay safe. Until next time, happy tanking, Space Bandit, checking out.